next question is regarding co a concept what is called as common market okay so in free trade agreement or in trade agreement we know that the lowest form of economic integration is a preferential trade agreement then a country moves to a free trade agreement where to most of the items there will be no import duty then after a uh, free trade agreement then if the countries decide to go for further integration they will go for customs union where the 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 countries which has formed a customs union they will have a common a trade policy a common uh, trade tariff will be decided and further uh, higher uh, further economic integration after customs union is common market so common market will have all the features of customs union Additionally, uh, the member countries of the common market will allow free movement of both labor and capital. This is one of the features of common market and above common market there lies an union what is called as economic and monetary union. So in the monetary union what happens is that they will be having a common currency like in the case of Euro, Eurozone or European Union is having a common currency in the form of Euro and this common they will be having a common central bank etc but common market is as you see uh, this economic and monetary union is higher level of economic integration above the common market okay so with this information in mind we will try to solve this question so a common market is a formal agreement where a group of countries is uh, a, when, where a group is formed among several countries in which each member country adopts a one feature is in common market they will be having a common external tariff okay they will be having a common external tariff okay so the trade import duty will be decided by them in a common market countries allow free trade and free movement of both labor and so it allow so first there will be free trade in goods and services so that is the feature of free trade agreement so along with free trade in goods and services there will be free movement of labor and capital that is the another feature of common market okay so we will try to solve this question which of the following statement is so are features of common market common currency common currency is not a feature of common market it is the common feature of a monetary union it is the common feature of a monetary union so which is a higher level of economic integration above the common market so first statement is wrong so we can eliminate a and b so by looking into the choice we get to know that third statement is correct they will have a common tariff they will have a common tariff against third party okay uh, countries in the so that is actually a feature of common market okay member countries will be having a common tariff against the third parties which is countries which is not part of common market so third we already know by elimination method third is correct what about second yes they allow in common market there will be free flow of labor and capital so two is also correct so your answer will be d two and three 